I have been putting this video off for the last month since the allegations against Gerard the Completionist had come out involving IndieLand and the Open Hand Foundation. If for whatever reason you're not up to speed, if you're out of the loop on the situation, this isn't a recap. This is purely my perspective, my thoughts, and my opinion on some things that are coming because just recently, in the last day or two, I've noticed I've gotten a spike of people under, I guess, alt accounts on Twitter trying to claim that I am some supporter of charity fraud, that I'm a liar, that I'm a piece of shit, all sorts of things. Because I'm a mutual friend of Gerard the Completionist, I don't know. The internet's a weird place, especially in this social media age. There's a misconception that just because somebody follows somebody on Twitter or is friends with them on Facebook, that they are close friends. That internet friends translates into real good in real life friends. That if you have mutual friends, it means that you know every single thing about that person. That you're privy to private information whether it's their sexual orientation, whether it's their hobbies, their lifestyle, their private life, or if they're committing something that is serious allegations against them, that you're supposedly privy to it the whole decade that you've known about them. Now, I'm really trying to put into thoughts and words without coming across as somebody that's being defensive because I have absolutely no reason to be defensive in this situation I had nothing to do with Gerard the Completionist Charity. I've never even watched an Indie Land. I've never donated to an Indie Land. I've never even been on it. I've never done business or a video collaboration with Gerard the Completionist. What I have done is I've met him back at SGC 2013, I believe, or 2012. Long time ago. Met him for the first time. Thought he was a real swell guy. And the last decade or so that I've personally known him, I never saw any kind of indication that he would have any kind of allegations against him that are this negative. And it's nobody's fault, guys. I don't, I don't know where the Internet has this conception that just because somebody's mutual friend or somebody's associate does something negative that everybody else that's their friend supports it that everybody else that their friend has some kind of like indication that they were involved in it that's not how life works that's not how it works with you guys watching this if your sister or brother or your cousin or your best friend from middle school got arrested for doing something fucked up or had some kind of allegations placed against them you're going to want to give them the benefit of a doubt initially correct is that not human nature is that not how human nature works? Oh, Eric, but you guys, y'all are all big YouTubers and that's what y'all do. Y'all lie and cheat and e-beg and steal your way up there. Guys, life, friendships, mutual friendships, relationships in this real world do not revolve around YouTube. Okay, let's, let's get that clear. <laughs> let's get that out of the way. Just because somebody is a content creator doesn't mean that they are 110% in agreement with other content creators because not everybody is close friends. Not everybody even talks beyond the few times that you meet them at an event. I only see Gerard maybe once or twice a year for the last decade. Whenever we would be at a video game convention is when I would talk to him. I'm always cordial with him. He was always really nice. Um, when I've had girlfriends in the past, he was always a gentleman, always real talkative and chatty, humble at times. And again, I had no indication that there was anything negative about him. So when this came out, just like any friend in real life, you would want to believe the best in that person. And this goes along with not just me, but other defenders, beat em ups who's been getting a lot of heat because of a tweet that he had a couple weeks ago where he said, what a surprise, drama YouTubers creating drama. 
I know that caused a huge shitstorm his way on social media. It was a friend defending a friend. You want to think the best in people. Just like with Ant Dude. Ant Dude, another guy who I think is a fucking fantastic human being. That guy has never said one bad thing about anybody. I've never heard anybody complain about that guy. I, I think Ant Dude is a gem of a human being. I don't know if he's watching this or if he's going to watch it, but that guy is a guy that is just like, you You see somebody and you're like, that's a good motherfucker. That's a good guy. He went out to bat and got heat. Shady J, sure, Shady J is a acquired taste. He made a tweet basically saying everybody was nonsense and baseless, and it pissed a lot of people off. But the fact that I am mutual friends with these people doesn't mean that I agree with what somebody might have tweeted. Just because I didn't shame somebody, just because I didn't reply to somebody, just because I didn't say something, it means that I support what Shady J might have tweeted or what Wood from Beat 'em Ups tweeted or what Ant Dude tweeted or whoever. Just Those are just the three off the top of my head because I know those three gentlemen have been labeled by many people, such as Review Tech USA, Muda, Call Jobs, you name it. They've labeled them as loyal defenders. Well, the thing is, when you imply somebody like a loyal defender, you're implying that those people were privy to these allegations before they ever came out. And... There's no evidence or proof of that. That's all speculation and assumption because you're mad at a situation. And that's fine. That's human nature as well. But people that are friends with somebody are going to want to believe the best in that individual. They're going to want to hope that whatever negativity they're hearing about their friend is not true. And that's how it is with everybody. It's not a YouTuber thing, like a, some weird YouTube mafia conspiracy thing. It's a friendship that you've had with somebody that spans over years that had no indication of anything negative causing an emotional tie to the situation. And it's tough. Again, human nature is a tough thing to explain and to go through on both sides of the equation because if you're really upset at the situation like review tech obviously is or called jobs or muda you're going to be the exact level of passion but on the other end of the spectrum you're going to be really aggressive and i guess what's the word negative towards it like you're going to have this this fire like hey that wasn't cool why didn't you do this why didn't you do that why didn't you donate the stuff after a decade? Why did you hide this? Just like the same way the friends are going to be like, hey, man, it was this long that I've known him. He gave no indication. It's human nature. And when finally, when it comes to a point like it has now, myself included, where you're seeing video responses from Muda and Carl, and then you're seeing Gerard's response, and then you're seeing their follow-ups, it starts to get overwhelming on both ends. I never personally made a statement at all on day one, and it's not because I was scared of rocking a boat. It's not because I wasn't holding a friend accountable. It wasn't because of anything that somebody that is, I guess, on the opposite side of the fence that's not defending Gerard might accuse of. It was because I just took the approach of, I'm going to see everything when it comes out. I'm going to see what these guys have to say. I want to see what this guy's response is going to be. I want to see what that guy says. It wasn't because I want to go inside with whoever the correct side is or anything like that. When it deals with your emotions, when it deals with mutual friends, because Shady J and Wood and Ant Dude, I consider them mutual friends. I consider myself close as hell with Shady J. He's going to be somebody that I know for the rest of my life. I hadn't talked to Ant Dude or would in quite some time, but I still consider themselves friends. I didn't know Gerard that good, but I would consider him a friend to the point where I would hope something that is this negative about him 
isn't true, but I am also going to admit that it wasn't looking good. It was looking like, wow, why did he do this? Why did he do that? You know what I'm saying? But I like to live my life to where if somebody's being accused of something, I'm going to at least give them a chance of a benefit of a doubt or a chance to prove themselves wrong. I'm not a fan of cancel culture in any shape, form, or fashion, even if there's evidence piling up and piling up and people are just hammering somebody. I don't believe in the court of public opinion. I never have. I never will. But with that said, people on both sides of the spectrum have the right to say what they want, to have their freedom of speech, okay, or to choose not to exercise it. You have the right to not say something. That's also freedom of speech, if you guys didn't know that. If somebody chooses to not say something, to not attack somebody, that's their right. That doesn't mean that they're looking the other way. And it's not cool to attack people and accuse them of stuff. Uh, I just noticed today I got attacked by three different Twitter accounts that when I looked at them, they were attacking everybody else. When it came out that Gerard finally donated some money, I replied to that tweet with some prayer hands. When I put that as a response, it wasn't me showing support for charity fraud. It was me showing it, hey, thank you for finally doing that. Albeit, it was way too late that the money was being held for 10 years, according to all these allegations. Thank you for finally donating it when it should have been done a long time ago. Well, I had two accounts spouting the same thing to me, that I'm a charity fraud, that I'm a POS leech, and they were replying to tweets that had nothing to do with the situation. I made like a funny tweet that, you know, PSA, if you're out in public, nobody wants to hear your TikToks, wear earbuds. And somebody said, well, nobody wants to hear that you're a charity fraud supporter. If you're on an alt account and you're pitchforking everybody on Twitter, you're not doing the situation justice. You're coming across as a troll. If you want to make a difference in this situation, how about you set up a charity drive of your own or donate to the dementia charities that are out there? Or I'll do you one better, volunteer, or, or do something to make a difference instead of hiding behind a keyboard and making fake accounts and putting baseless attacks on people because you feel that they're supporting charity fraud because they're mutual friends or followers. Again, it's this conception that just because somebody follows somebody online or that they're a content creator as well, that means that they're privy to private information or that they're privy to any kind of like serious negative like actions that they've done, like charity fraud. That's not how life works, okay? I Again, I know... Today's society is a little bit younger in this digital age. A lot of them really only have internet friends. They don't have in real life friends. So I think that's where a lot of it comes from when you have these people that are online thinking that just because somebody is a YouTuber that they're friends with all the other ones and that they agree with everything they say. I have friends on both sides of the spectrum, guys. I'm friends with Review Tech and JKB who are doing the live show. They've been very vocal recently with another friend of mine, Wood from Beat 'em Ups. They've also been vocal about Gerard the Completionist. They've also been vocal about Shady J and this whole situation. There's lines drawn in the sand, but guess what? People have the choice to not go to either side of the line. They have a choice to keep to themselves. And that doesn't mean that they're avoiding a situation. And it shouldn't be that way. It's not fair for either side to say or accuse people of turning the other cheek or not holding a friend accountable. It's easy to say that. But when you're being inadvertently put in the middle of a situation because friends are arguing or friends are being accused of something... It's hard. It's human nature again. And again, you want to hope the best out of people. And yes, people will fail you. People will disappoint you. And you have a right to make a statement about it or not. As regards to Gerard, I do feel 
10 years of holding the money was way too long. And it was a weird look. Me putting the prayer hands was like, thank you for getting the money out there. Finally, it, that was what it was. I'm not going to be on Twitter giving explanations to people that are hiding on alt accounts and trying to explain myself over prayer hands. I have every right to tell somebody thank you or I have every right to tell somebody fuck off because I didn't do anything that has an allegation on it. Is the worst thing that I did is that I was mutual online friends and cordial to somebody that's facing allegations? Does that automatically make me a bad person? If somebody... I don't know. Let's do a situation. When O.J. Simpson was facing his murder case, was the rest of his football team in the NFL at trial as well? Did any of them make statements or not make statements? I know comparing murder to charity fraud is two different things, but look at it from an in-real-life perspective, right? It's not as black and white as people like to make it be when there's other people involved. The internet's a big place, ladies and gentlemen. We all have our own things going on. We all have our own situations going on. And just like I said, you want to wish the best on people. And I saw a really good response from my retro life, Tyler. He, he posted today saying that after seeing Carl's video today, he could no longer support Gerard the Completionist that he regrets defending him, basically, and what he said. And that's human nature. There was people in his reply saying that now that him defending Gerard hurt him, he wants to backpedal. Changing your opinion over alarming evidence or a situation that is pending still, the situation is changing day-to-day -day is not backpedaling. As stuff comes out, people are going to realize, wow, man, this really hurts. Instead of attacking Tyler from My Retro Life, who I think is another swell guy, try to consider the emotional ties that he had with a friend. Instead of attacking him for previously defending somebody, which he wasn't aggressive at all in his defense he was defending a friend and to be like oh you're backpedaling only because it made you look bad that's not fair and yeah I know life's not fair but that's not the case with everybody you're damned if you do you're damned if you don't if you say something you're jumping the gun if you do it too fast if you say something later after waiting you waited too long if you change your mind, you're backpedaling. People want you to have a certain opinion when you change it to fit that way, which this is something that I saw similar to what Billy from Game Chasers said. Billy from Game Chasers replied to the individual that attacked my retro life saying, you know, dude, it's not backpedaling. It's, it's changing because when you have a friend, when you have an emotional tie, you really want to hope that that person is innocent. And it, it's tough. It's really tough to deal with. It's not a woe is me. It's not a victim act. It's not a, hey, uh, uh, you know, I'm sorry. I looked bad defending this guy thing. It's not. And it's easy for people that don't have any kind of mutual friendship or emotional tie to a situation to point a finger at somebody. It's easy to victim blame. It's easy to shame. It's easy to accuse Nobody knows the real side of the story of what's going on except the people that were directly involved. And most of the mutual friends, for the most part, to my knowledge, we weren't directly involved with anything involving the charity. One of these trolls that came after me claimed that there was leaked private chats that showed evidence that I supported charity fraud. Come out with those. Show me these private chats. I'm I'm utterly speechless at how 
aggressive and ugly people were coming at people that had nothing to do with any of the allegations, people that didn't do any of these actions. And then people being aggressive at people for defending their friend. Okay? It's human nature to be like, hey, my friend, I'm still defending him to the last minute. You know what I mean? You're going to defend your friends naturally. It just happens. It, it's just human nature. And when it gets too late, eventually you start to see, hey, you know what? Sadly, unfortunately, I can't fuck with this guy anymore. This guy fucked up. And I'm I'm not going to lie when I say waiting a decade to do stuff. That's that's cap. That is super cap. But I wanted to give Gerard the benefit of the doubt. I still wish I could. At this point, I don't know what the hell is going on. I was talking to somebody trying to theorize. I'm like, dude, there has to be an explanation for something this out of character. Like, is his family in trouble? Is there some kind of weird chic mafia person holding them ransom behind the scenes that we don't know about? Like, at this point, the situation is so wild and out of character that Fuck, I, w- I wouldn't be shocked if there was, like, space aliens that were taking money from him at this point. As stupid and hilarious as that sounds, and I'm not trying to make a lot of this situation, but that, to me, is how dumbfounded I am about the whole ordeal. Like, I, I couldn't even make a statement initially if I fucking wanted to because I was perplexed just as everybody else was. I was coming home from really rad weekend. I was driving from Florida when the videos came out, and I saw them the same time everybody else did. I shot Gerard a message saying, hey, man, I don't know what's going on, but do what you got to do. Keep your head up and keep moving forward. That's not supporting charity fraud. That's being there for a friend in a tough time because you don't know what's going on, and the best thing that you could do is just give them whatever support you can at the time. It doesn't mean that I agree with anything, especially if anything comes to light. Of course, of course, people that are friends with him, if something's really bad, it's going to be a tough pill to swallow. With anybody, with anybody I know, whether it's a family member, a, a friend, an Internet friend, a real life friend, if they're facing tough times, whether it's accusations or allegations, I'm going to give them a benefit of a doubt. It has nothing to do with protecting a YouTube member that's some big conspiracy or whatever. It has to do with me wishing what I would have if I was in the hot seat, if I was in trial, if I was in court for something, if I was facing allegations, I would want people to give me a benefit of a doubt. And if somebody is truly guilty, that's on their conscience. It's not on anybody giving them the doubt. Because those people defending, they didn't do anything wrong. They're just being there for a friend, which is human nature. And that's where I stand on this. So you can agree with me. You can not agree. You can call me a fence sitter. I already said that I think it was sus holding it. If stuff comes out that I don't fuck with, I'll, I'll have to not fuck with it. But I'm not going to pitchfork against people defending him and being loyal friends because they didn't do the charity. They didn't do the allegations. They're just there for a friend too. At the end of the day, we're all human. This isn't downplaying the accusations or the the allegations or anything either. Gerard has to prove that he did nothing wrong. And... So far, Carl and Muda are able to rebuttal and show discrepancies. And it's going to be this way. It's going to be tough to climb out. He might not ever recover from this. It doesn't mean his mutual friends are just as guilty. Anyways, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know your thoughts, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.